All right, so the first thing that I want to say is uh, this was not my original design, and I'll have the link to the uh, YouTube channel I saw it on in the description. Uh, but one of the changes that I want to make is that he had one iron farm making 350 iron an hour. I want to see if I could double that, quadruple it, make it scalable. Um, so these are the items that you're going to need in order to make uh, twice as much, 700 iron an hour iron farm. And you can actually make it twice that if you want, 1400 iron and gets an hour. Uh, but uh, start out by just grabbing some water, uh, gates, uh, signs, chests, and a couple hoppers. And uh, the first thing you're going to want to do actually is just cut two 9x9 nine nine holes in the ground with three blocks between them. Uh, make sure that those 9x9 nine nine holes are only one deep. And then come and find the center 3x3 three three hole right here. And uh, what you're going to do is you're actually going to put uh, eight gates all around the edge. So every square of that three by three in the center, except for the very center square. Then uh, when you're done, everything that you do, you're just going to mirror on the other side. Just like this. There you go. And uh, go ahead and fling all those gates open. Uh, I like to open them all the same way personally. Uh, otherwise it kind of bugs me, but it doesn't really matter as long as they're open and stuff can fall through them. Uh, then underneath each of the gates, just go ahead and dig out 17 blocks down. Alright, so once you have the 9x9 nine nine cut out and the threes in the center, go ahead and drop down into one. Uh, on one of the two corners that's closest to the other 9x9, nine nine, which for me would be this corner, dig down two spots, kind of like that. Oops, get rid of that chest. There we go. And uh, dig over towards the other 9x9 nine nine until you see one block of light. As long as they're both lined up, uh, you should be digging into another corner of that 3x3 three three that you dug down in the center. There it is. Uh, so now you can put down a chest here with a hopper on top of it. That's going to be the collection system for that side, the start of it at least. Uh, hop back into this side so you're not trapped down there. And uh, go ahead and put down another chest and a hopper on top of that. All right, now in order to push everything to one side, you'll go to the opposite corner of the hopper, and uh, you'll actually put down one water. It'll push everything into this hopper, just like that. So now any items that drop will drop in there. Pull out your signs and put one on the second row in the middle, and one right in front of that so it grabs the middle block. Then go up one row and put one in the middle on all four sides, kind of like this. And then pull out your building block, place it in a corner, and uh, go ahead and hop up until you're one block above the signs, which I believe is the fourth block. And then uh, just build out until you have one over the center, fourth block up. Drop down and place your lava underneath this block. Because of the signs, it's going to stay in place. It's not going to burn the signs. Uh, lava doesn't do that to signs. Now anything that falls down will be, the iron golems will be hurt by the lava. And uh, then everything will be gathered into the water side, or into the hopper. Uh, now all you have to do is go ahead and just repeat the process over on your other side and your entire collection system will be done. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is uh, to build up three spots from the center of, uh, of where all those uh, gates are and then put a composter on top, just like that, and then of course mirror it on our other side, like that. Go ahead and get rid of the three blocks below after that. Next up... Um, is that uh, you're going to come up two blocks like so one two and then over one or you could just come up three blocks on the side either way will work and then put a trap door at the top this is so that when we get a zombie in here later he can't hop out one other thing that I didn't do in this video but I do want to advise is to just uh, hold sneak and put a button on top of the trap door it makes it so the zombie definitely cannot escape and just kind of adds you know some security all right, so for the next thing, uh, if you didn't delete it, good. If uh, you did, just go ahead and throw it back up. Uh, we're just going to take uh, three spots up from the comparator. Uh, I mean, the co composter, kind of like that. And then build out two spots. And then over one and down one, kind of like that. And then build out a couple more spots. Over one, down one, and then build out. 
and build out that top. So it's kind of like this. Uh, what you want is you want the bed to actually be placed down in each of these layers, two blocks away from uh, the spot that the trap door is at. So right there. And then just go ahead and delete all of your building blocks underneath. So the beds are just kind of floating there. All right, so the next thing you're going to want to do is put a glass or a build block at the end of the bed, the foot, and put a glass above that because mobs can't spawn on glass. Then come out two blocks, turn, and go towards the front of the bed uh, four more blocks, and then come out two and go up uh, three more, I'm sorry, uh, so that it's one past the head of the bed. Then come over with a build block and one more. You can put a slab at the bottom, a slab at the bottom, and one more slab on top, so it looks like that. This allows the uh, the zombie to be to lock eyes with the villagers sometimes, but not all the time, um, based off where their beds are and where they're standing. But they still can't get out, so they're still trapped in there. All right, now it's time to get villagers in here. So I'm in creative mode. I've actually made this farm in survival mode today, and I just didn't want to have to deal with the villagers again. This is the hardest part, hands down. This and dealing with the zombie, just dealing with any of the uh, mobs. So you need to be able to get three uh, villagers into here. They don't have to have a job. They could just be playing. Uh, and you need to be able to get three villagers in the other side, one for every bed. All the beds have to be filled for an iron golem to spawn in a village. Um, believe me when I say <laughs> this is probably going to be the hardest part. So uh, it will take time. Don't get too frustrated. So this next part, if you just build a block on top of that center slab and then build a slab on top of that, you can build your roof. So you're going to build it uh, in line with the glass. So basically you cover up all the glass and fill it in and then come forward so that you're one block past where the composter is and then just fill it in. It should be a five by seven square. Uh, one important note is that this, these slabs do have to be on the bottom half of the block. If they're on the top half, then uh, I mean mob spawn. And that's, that's what we're trying to avoid here. That's why we have it lit up down below. Uh, that's why we made all of it out of glass and bottom slabs. Uh, so that nothing can spawn except for iron golems. Uh, just make sure you do it on the other side and uh, you'll be good to go. Alright, so once you finish up both roofs, uh, it's probably time for the second hardest part of this. You have to get a zombie into that composter. So the easiest way to get a zombie into the composter... Well, for me, I'm in creative, and I already made uh, one in survival today, so I'm just going to spawn them in. But uh, for anybody in survival, the way that I got it in is I made a path that went up to that trap door above it, and when the zombie followed me up there, I opened the trap door, he dropped down in it, then I closed the trap door on top of him. One important thing is that once you have the zombie in, take out a button. Uh, I, I used a stone button. I don't think that it really matters. However, I've always used a stone one, uh, and just... You press the sneak button to be able to put it on top of the trap door. That, that locks the trap doors. So you have to press the button in order to open it, and that will actually break the button. Once you have them in, just take out a name tag, uh, go over to an anvil and name the name tag, and then name them. This here, it's my iron squad. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. All that you have left to do is fill the four corners. Oh, look, iron golems are already spawning. Oh, there's three to six uh, iron ingots right there. Uh, just fill all four corners on both of them. That way that uh, as the iron golems spawn, they will be attracted to the zombie and you'll be good to go. There you have it. That's our iron farm. Let's take a look at uh, somehow, uh, some of the efficiency. We'll run it for a half an hour, see how it does, and we'll see what we get. All right, so here's just kind of a sped up version of about the first 20 minutes, kind of testing it out, seeing how many iron golems spawn, how much we can get. Um, each of the chests down there did have about three quarters of a stack already in it of uh, iron ingots. So when we get down there and do the counts, I'm just going to go ahead and take that off. I mean, in all reality, if we can get two stacks, 120 or so, that's 240 in 20 minutes. That's not bad. That's over 700 in, uh, in an hour. All right, let's check it out. So the first chest, uh, yeah, take off three quarters of a stack and we're at two stacks. And two stacks, exactly, man. That's four stacks in 20 minutes. That ain't bad. Hey, so let's go ahead and check out the one that I made in my survival world. Pretty basic, pretty open. I didn't put as many torches. I'm gonna, the plan is to kind of cover this in a whole anvil look. But uh, hey, it works out great. If you guys like the video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, help me out.
So we were out.